That is a happy tail, my fellas. That's a happy tail. Look at that thing. The hallmark of a good big boar. Guys, this thing is an absolute rocket ship. I've ridden a lot of YZ 490s. This one is just, it pulls like a freight train. Five-speed transmission, which is awesome because the previous years had the four-speed. They're spaced perfectly. This is an absolutely stunning piece. Hugely, huge favorite, the red and white paint job with the red frame. The white, just look at the graphics on this thing. The red seat, the 490. The frame with the twin uh, down tube center port exhaust. Yep, it's, it's, a, it's a light years ahead of the earlier models. Certainly, if you're looking for a bike for vintage motocross or an investment quality classic you just want to look at every day to make yourself happy, look no farther. Your ships come in, man. This thing is freaking awesome. This is from the Chris Hendricks uh, uh, the Chris Hendricks collection. If you remember, we bought a huge collection of Yamaha YZs from him, some CRs, and he had pretty much every every YZ made, the 60, the 80, the 125, the 250s, the, the 490, and, a, and uh, 500. He had the whole lineup. This is this is pretty much the the crown jewel of the of the Yamaha collection. Look at the exhaust on this thing; it's original factory exhaust in excellent condition. There's a uh, has original original baffle on it. It's just you just don't find big bore motocross bikes with original exhaust on them anymore. A couple tiny dings in the pipe right here, which a pipe specialist could take out. They're like little pea-sized dings. I wouldn't mess with it; just leave it alone. The pipe looks awesome. Has the original fork boots on it. A little bit of patina on those, but those are the original. Heck. Um, 30, what is it, 30, 37 year old fork boots. So uh, obviously a very low hour original. It's just been gone through here at the shop. I got a work order over here, I'll go, go through with you. It has a, a brand new Clark gas tank on it. It's got a brand new front fender, brand new rear fender, new uh, side number plates, new front number plate. The original handlebars are intact and in good shape with a brand new Yamaha crossbar pad, brand new set of uh, the Ori grips, the period correct grips. At the front of the bike, you'll see it's got a gorgeous Hoosier tire which costs us twice what the Dunlops cost, but I think they're worth it. They just look awesome and they wear really good and uh, they're lighter than, than their Dunlops too. So a little, little less unsprung weight, just a fantastic looking tire. Still got the hairy nubs on it. Front brakes work awesome, front forks work great. The frame is in, I always recommend check the frame rails on a vintage dirt bike. This, the frame rails on this, this bike right here, look like it just came out of the box. I didn't see a single ding anywhere in the frame rails. They're beautiful, I'll show them to you in a minute. These are the original rims too, and they're perfectly straight. There's a, that's proof this thing wasn't hammered off-road because if it was, the rims would, wouldn't be like this, original, and the frame would be dinged up. Um, just a kick-ass piece. New gas tank, new fuel lines, the car's been rebuilt, brand new air filter, it's got a new spark plug in it, engine compression is perfect, the exhaust is in beautiful condition, new gear lube, it runs like a new bike, shifts like a new bike, the clutch works like a new bike, and guys, it even has the kickstand on it. When's the last time you saw a 37 year old motocross bike? This is the first thing, they won't even allow you to race with these. So the guys take them off and they're long gone. I, I think this is the first YZ from this era that we've got that had a kickstand in it. Is, Junior, can you remember another that had the kickstand? It's just, you just don't get them. Yeah. yeah. They require you to take them off to go racing, right? So. Yeah, you, you couldn't even, AHR, it has to be taken off to race and they usually get lost. So we bought the bike in, it was steam clean, degreased, uh, the boys, uh, actually, Mar um, Ronnie did this one. He sanded the frame rails on the side where the boot scuffed it, sanded it and painted it. You can't even tell where he painted it, the hallmark of a good restoration job. Uh, the engine was repainted, the uh, sanded, cleaned, repainted. You can see it has a beautiful finish on it. Uh, touched up the hubs, the triple clamps, the hand controls, the calipers, both of the great brake calipers. You zoom in, you see those that were repainted. Um, he polished the aluminum swing arm, uh, polished the spokes, cleaned up the wheels, touched up the shock. All the hardware was gone through and, and, uh, and cleaned up. Wire wheeled. Um, wire -wheeled uh, all new graphics on it. Clean the seat. That's original. Guys, this is original seat cover on a 37-year-old dirt bike, which is just ridiculous. The, the letters usually rub off of them. Obviously, an extremely low. All of Chris's bikes from the collection we got from him were mechanically perfect. Uh, Chris was an AT&T executive who was just about to retire and uh, got an early forced retirement, basically, unfortunately, so had to sell his collection. Um, and this is one of the dime pieces that came from his collection. So uh, just a beautiful, beautiful bike. All new plastics, front fender, rear fender, shrouds. I mean, uh, number plates, front number plate, uh, new decals, new Hoosier tires, new fuel pet cock, new air filter. Has a new Pro Taper 520MX top of the line chain on what I believe is the original sprocket. June, you can zoom, zoom in on this. I'm 95% I'm sure this is the original sprocket on here. Um, it looks like the original sprocket. It looks like a duck, quacks like a duck. It might be a duck, right? 
original muffler. When's the last time you saw a 37 year old motocross bike with original exhaust on it, original seat cover, original handlebars, just all hallmarks of a bike with very low hours on it. Um, it's been gone through, it needs nothing, it's ready to go. Roll us to the line at the vintage race at Unadilla this weekend. You know, this, this would be a perfect bike to line up for the AHRMA or, or the MX Rewind event. The brakes have been gone through. The uh, rear brakes were clean and adjusted, new chain. Uh, the, the exhaust, the, actually the baffle, they actually took the baffle apart, rebuilt it and repacked the exhaust silencer. That's probably one of the reasons why it's so torquey and runs so good. It's got perfect back pressure. Uh, they put new two stroke, uh, that's like, I mean, there's no way the baffling is gonna last 37 years. So that was taken apart and professionally rebuilt and put back together and repacked. So the air box has been cleaned inside and out and it's got a new air filter in it. Of course, the car has been rebuilt too. So just a really low hour survivor. It has the Yamaha energy induction, as you can see. And as Junior mentioned, this is the twin down tube front frame with a center port exhaust. Just a much more efficient uh, flow of exhaust rather than the side port original ones, or the earlier ones. Swing arms in great shape. Forks are in good condition. Just a kick-ass classic. Big bore four strokes, as you know, are, are getting hard to come by. A lot of them are shipping overseas or out of the country or just been ridden into the ground to try to take a Craigslist or Facebook special and turn it into this. Plan on a, 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 a year of nights and weekends uh, in, your, in your garage and parts are getting harder to find. So to find one that's done like this, that's ready to go, this is, this is, a, this is the dream right here. Chris, another bike that exceeded my expectations. This thing runs freaking awesome. Junior, you want to add anything about this classic YZ? Not really, man. I think you just about summed it up. Definitely uh, a good buy. And I think this is the first YZ490 we brought through with the red frame and the white plastics. It's super sharp. These are super rare. They didn't make many of them. And most of them got ridden into the ground in desert or, or sand dunes or motocross. This is 85 only? Because I know in, in uh, 80, 86, they went to a different scheme, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yep. I, I, I don't recall seeing another one uh, like this. Um, I, I haven't seen any 85s this color. Even at Sand Mountain, I didn't see any. Has an original chain guide on it too. Check it out. Just a kick-ass piece. If you have any questions, give us a call. Thanks for watching. It's fired right up too. I think it was a third kick stone cold. It starts super easy. The Yamaha had it figured out by, by now. It's a Pinga King, the big air-cooled 490. Thanks for watching. God bless America.